Hello and welcome to Shine On Sista, where you learn how to shine your light in life, business, and beyond. Last week was video number one of the Shine On Summer series, where you set a 90-day goal for the summer. Today, in video two, we're going to discuss a little monster that's likely coming up for you at this point. And that little bugger is decision making or the fact that right now you have to make a decision. So you might be stuck in maybe two different places. One, you still have to make your 90 day goal and you have to make that decision. I'm sure you have a lot of goals and aspirations, but you got to pick just one thing for the summer or you have chosen the one goal that you want to achieve, but there's a million different ways that you could go about achieving it. This too requires you to make a decision. Wherever you find yourself stuck, there always comes a point where you just have to decide, right? So goodbye procrastination, no more data collection, adios analysis paralysis, you just have to decide. And while there are a ton of topics that I could tackle under the umbrella of decision making, today I really want to tackle a secret that you may not have considered before when it comes to making a decision. And it's this. Whether you make a decision or not, it's still a decision. Say what? I know. And to take it even further, there are really two sides to this idea that I want to explore with you today as well. The first idea being that to stay stuck in a state of indecision is, is a decision in and of itself. Therefore, point number two, it means that you're either making a passive decision or you're making an empowered decision. A super simplistic example of this is take your driver's license, for example, right? If you passively allow it to expire, you in a way are making a decision to take the written and driver's test, right? You're not making an empowered decision to say, you know what, it's been 20 plus years, I think I just wanna take the written driver's test for my state, cause that sounds like fun. But since the DMV is boring and a drag, you don't make any decision, you don't make any action, you don't decide anything. So therefore, it is decided for you that you are going to have to take the written and driver's test 20 plus years later. A super simplistic example, but just to illustrate how either again, you can passively decide or you can make an empowered decision. Let's make it more relevant for the Shine On Summer series. Say you have five goals that you really, really, really want to accomplish. By staying stuck in a state of indecision, you are actually passively deciding to spin your wheels, to exert a lot of energy, but not get any results. You're right. passively deciding to stay stuck. Of course, you're not coming from an empowered place of, yes, I want to spin my wheels all summer. However, by staying stuck in a state of indecision, by not deciding on one thing to really focus your energy towards, the decision that's being made is that you're gonna juggle things for the next 90 days as you probably have in the past, and so you're going to get the same results. And we don't want that for you. To live your life this way is to live your life by default, as if you're a boat on the open sea, just letting the waves toss you all around without you really having any say in what happens to you in your life. However, when you make an empowered decision, that allows you to focus all of your energy, your intentions, your focus on what's really important to you and accomplishing your goal. When you make an empowered decision, your actions always have intention. When you're passively deciding, you're always reactive to what's thrown at you. So your actions don't have intention, you're always reactive. So while at the onset, making an, making an empowered decision seems like the scarier thing to do because you choose and you rule out other options and it just feels scarier, actually staying stuck in a state of indecision really is the scarier, harder place to be because you're reacting all the time, you never know what you're gonna get, and you're always on your toes having to react to what's thrown at you. Hashtag written driver's test past the age of 16. I mean, seriously. So, are you gonna write 12 blogs this summer, launching your you know, website blog, and you're gonna wait to do the podcast till the fall, or are you gonna make your goal launching a podcast and maybe the blogs can just wait until the challenge is over? Are you gonna decide to sign up for that program I know you've been eyeing for a while, or are you gonna stay stuck in a state of indecision? 
It's time to decide. Oh, and please don't forget that we live in an abundant universe where there's a zillion different outcomes that, can, that are possible at any given time that our brains can't even conceive of. When you make a clear decision, you're telling the universe, hey, this is my highest desire. It is in this space that magic and miracles start springing up everywhere. So your challenge for this week is to either A, make your 90 day goal if you haven't already. And two, if you have made your 90 day goal, then start making decisions on how you're gonna go about achieving your goal. Again, remembering that there is magic and miracles waiting around the corner, but you gotta get clear first and start making your plan of action. Now, as your business bestie, you know I'm not gonna leave you hanging. So if you need support, go to bit.ly WCSSFB to join a free support group where you'll get laser coaching from me and my co hostess. And you can use the hashtag Shine On Summer Series where you can find other people who are committed to making this summer one of the best ever. So until next week, set your goal, make an empowered decision, and shine on, sister. <laughs> <laughs>